With over 20,000 students and spread across 250 acres, SRM is considered one of the top engineering colleges in India. But let's see how it holds up against one of India's best private institutes. Welcome to College Suggest. And on this video, we are comparing SRM and VIT. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications about interesting college comparison videos like this one. SRM is located in Kartan Kulatur, which is about an hour's drive from the heart of Chennai and is easily accessible by buses and local trains. VIT, on the other hand, is at Velur, which is about a two and a half hour drive from Chennai and about three hours from Bengaluru. One can reach the college via intercity buses and trains. According to the NIRF, the National Institutional Ranking Framework, SRM is ranked at number 36, while VIT is ranked at number 18 as the highest rated private institute. Click on the link below to know more about the NIRF and their framework. Both colleges have been established in 1985. VIT has a bigger campus area of 350 acres compared to SRM's 250. VIT also has a larger library holding at least 80,000 books more than SRM's. SRM offers some great campus facilities like 17 hostels, 5 basketball courts, 2 football fields, 5 tennis courts, a 400 meter track and much more. VIT is not far behind with the football field two volleyball courts, two tennis courts, a cricket ground, a 200-meter track and 21 hostels among other facilities. SRM puts a strong intake number with over 4,800 UG engineering seats. VIT is open to over 6,800 UG engineering seats. The faculty-student ratio is slightly better at SRM with 11 students per faculty compared to VIT where it's 12 students per faculty. 35.6% of the faculties in SRM have PhDs, while 63.6% of the faculties in VIT have PhDs. Coming to placements, last year, SRM placed a total of 2,874 students with a placement percentage of 97, while VIT placed 2,311 students with a placement percentage of 81. VIT has an obvious upper hand on placements and is a hiring hotspot for companies like Google, Amazon, TCS, Cognizant, Infosys, IBM, Zoho, Deloitte and many more. Companies like Microsoft, Amazon, Wipro, l and Dell, HSBC and Samsung are known to hire from SRM. VIT provides a fully flexible credit system where, before the beginning of each semester, the students are offered a two-hour window to select the courses they wish to take up, with the liberty to choose from faculties and time slots for the opted courses. A student at SRM is placed with an average salary of 3,80,000, while a placed student at VIT receives an average salary of 5,20,000. Both SRM and VIT have spent over 43 crores as their capital expenditure on libraries, labs and engineering workshops, with VIT's numbers being slightly higher. When it comes to their annual operational expenditure, which includes salaries, academic infrastructure, seminars and conferences, VIT has spent over 636 crores, while SRM spent just over 314. Both colleges have received similar number of sponsored research and consultancy projects, with VIT performing slightly better in both cases. SRM holds their annual national level cultural event Milan that hosts events for thousands of students who gather from various parts of the country. Fashion shows, talkathons, short film screening and DJ nights are some of the events that live up to the hype at Milan. VIT's annual cultural event, the Rivera, is also well known in the college circuit. Students come from all over the country to be part of this festival, which offers a platform for all individuals to showcase their skills and develop their potential in arts, sports, music, dance, drama, debate and fashion. If you've noticed VIT performing consistently better all through this video, it's because they really do. VIT is the go-to place for top companies for recruitment and students are offered much better packages than at SRM. 
SRM offers great campus facilities, is easily accessible and has a higher placement percentage than VIT. Both colleges have plenty to offer and the choice is yours. Let us know what colleges we should compare next in the comments section below. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. For more information, visit collegesuggest.com.